Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new video. Our campaign, playing as the Pit, using a special sub-mod called East Coast Rebirth. Uh, if you'd like to check out the sub-mod for yourself, it'll be the first link in the description below, but we're also using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, State Chancellor Tool Mod, as well as Player of the Peace Conferences, but let's see what the Pit has in store for us. The promises of freedom. The one thing most slaves want more than anything else is freedom. Promises of eventual freedom once important work is done can keep the loyalty of many and compliance in others, which we get stability and political power. Now, I'll be honest here, I've not tried this off screen at all. I don't know what's going to happen, but hopefully we have a good time regardless. Let's go do that. Oh, caps, I've already played 3.0, thank you very much. And we have Stark goes to general and promises of freedom with opening the hole. We love opening holes. Giving strong slaves a place to prove their strength with the prospect of elevating themselves can not only ensure loyalty, but gain us some cheaper talent in our forces. And we have, uh, oh, we established a route. Okay, from Canton, cool. Trade map mode, we have the pit and Rivet City. Well, yeah, we, we knew, actually, oh, wait, actually, we have more political power. Let's see, 26, 13, 26. Send trade out, that'd be really nice if we had enough political power, but we do not currently, but that is okay, we will have it soon. The hole opens. Now, any slave can rise up through the strength of their will and become one of the ruling class, in theory. In reality, though, most of them are slaughtered for our amusement. The strong will rise, which we lose monthly population, but we get more recruitable population factor and more stability. And, you know what I love? The hole. National spirit. A miracle. The potential of a cure for the troglodyte de generation contagion was always an arduous one. That was until Asher's wife bore a daughter miraculously immune to these conditions. Now real work can begin on a brighter future, and the what we have for national spirits are the scourge survivors. We have importing labor, so it hurts our uh, passive caps income, but gives us more monthly population, which right now we're still getting about 30 a month. Not too bad. Oh, we can tributize a bunch of people. Oh, let's go and do that. And there's not much else we can do, but that's okay, and I don't care about drastic measures too much. And we also have Asher's Fist. Asher's Fist. More weekly stability, which is actually extremely nice, but Brav to Tributize. If you like to hear about that, please go right ahead. Big guns, big money. Tributize, Tributize. And the Federation of West Virginia has rejected us. Oh boy, that is not ideal. And the miracle birth, Mary. Marie, born healthy and immune to TDC, represents the best hope for the people of the pit. The best hope for stopping the eventual degeneration of all will suffer through a miracle child to save us all. We lose research, but we get more political power, all right, and we can do the wander. A mysterious wander showed up in the pit and has quickly worked their way up by being one of the best fighters the hole has ever seen. But what is their true purpose here? Now, let's see. What do we have for modifiers or cultural advisors? Oh, we are ruler. We're not elites, but we have a ruler. Oh, Porter Gage would be pretty nice, but we have to be nuclear world to get that. Actually, that's really nice. More weekly stability and political power. Chem pusher. Nothing here that's super important. Uh, 0 0.05 is not really worth getting uh, for political power. This stuff is all okay. It doesn't look like there's any way for us to get more daily army XP. Is there anything unique here? Not too much. We have military advisors. Air raid buff. Navy raid buff. Raider expansion. Not bad. That's okay as well. How about we are currently on funding the army. We don't have very many civilian factories, but we do have a few workshops. And we're on mercenary primacy. Which... First, our tech and defense. We lose consumer goods, which is good, and get 5% recruitable population. Well, we might just want to go to Raider Band soon enough to get rid of that. But how about we go and choose a military theorist, land auction, conventional warfare. Ooh, do we want conventional warfare? We might want 49 days. Holy crap, that's a long time. Wow. Do we want conventional warfare? Hmm. We are technically Raiders. And so with Raiders, it sounds like you want to go asymmetrical, but asymmetrical... Warfare, I don't really know about that one. I guess we'll just go with conventional warfare for now. Let's grab some army XP then. Conventional sounds, okay, not great. And these guys, well, they're not great. They're only 10 combo with nothing special about them. Hopefully we can go to war with some people soon enough and uh, beat people over the head and capture them. That'd be kind of nice. Let's see, can we tax these people? You know, let's try to tax everybody here. Because we could always use more money, right? Always, always use more money. We only have three research slots. As well as the pit is pretty, you know, civilized. As you see by our technology, I don't think we have any unique bonuses here. Um, no, nothing unique. No unique bonuses. I'm surprised that this is a 49-day focus. That's that's a bit nuts, in my opinion. But hey, at least we got some army XP going along. So after this, we can trog extermination efforts, clearing rubble, auto plant expedition, and then we can choose the oh, we're contributing. That's not good. Uh, Knight of the Trogs or plotting a revolution. Now I'll let you know. This is on historical, so I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Even if it did a historical, I still wouldn't know what was going to really happen. 
So we'll see what happens to Wander. Unbeknownst um, to Ashur, the Wander has been brought in by Vanna to help in a planned slave uprising. But after rising through the pit, social structure, maybe this Wander had a change of heart. He makes some good points. Or stick to the plan and liberate the people. Oh, do we want to... Oh, I'm not really sure what we want to do. So there's plotting the revolution. I don't mind playing um, this campaign twice to trial both sides. Liberation, pit security, the people's army... Uh, pit Rangers, that sounds like fun. Curing the Scourge, early problems, continuing mistakes, mounting problems, the Scourge cured. Rounding up survivors, dealing with traitors, no mercy, trials for traitors, sympath ooh, sympathizers, ooh. Work camps, oh wow. Penal battalions, restarting production, fires of liberation, you get all sorts of stuff down here. And clearing trogs, lower classes, restoring lower classes, or clearing the upper districts. Or we could do Knights of the Trogs, finishing the fight to get more stability, crushing the uprising, rewarding the loyal. Ooh, research, research, curing, our promises kept. So it sounds like we can get some incinerators. Another research slot would be right, really good. I feel like for this campaign, I want to go with the Knight of the Trogs to, make, to see what happens. So and besides, with this one, you, you, you lose Lord Ishmael Ashur, which I don't want to do. So may, Ashur makes some good points. As Wander warned, at all at once, the lights outside the barriers went out. Holes in the wall were blasted, and the trogs howled out in joy for what they thought would be a meal. But they, but we were ready. Even ready, we lost much. Ooh, we removed two infrastructure. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's not good. Breaking the slaves. With well, the trogs dealt with, we should be able to make short work of the slaves. So it looks like we're going to have a good old time. Trogs running rampant. That's not bueno. And another 40-day focus. Well, so mopping up. We'll get more stability, clear out Eastern Rubble, more infrastructure, infrastructure, arms workshops, vehicle restoration. What I do want to do is trog extermination and see what happens. If these slaves want to fight, we will send them to the sewers to fight the trogs. They try to let loose on us with promises with promises their crimes will be forgiven. Because I want to clear out the metal yards, restoring recycling plants. Because I don't know if we are going to get like free war goals or war claims, or just claims in general, on other people. I would like to get more claims. Um, ooh, that's not bad. We don't have that much manpower, and we're not even mobilizing, so I might just grab that ahead of time. Go and do that one. Uh, I would like to go to war with the buff. Who is the buff? It led by Hamilton Crit Crittenden. 22,000 manpower. No division, so the faster we can go to war with them and Br Bradfoe would be really quite bueno. And we're doing that. Let's go and grab some more woodworking as well. That'd be nice. Rats, if you'd like to about re read about rats, please go right ahead. But yeah, if these guys don't have anybody here... Um... I'd like to go to war with them. Warrior coat. Or, you uh, know, code. Finishing the fight with a trog's handle, the slaves were a light threat. Many were mowed down, but far more surrendered in the face of a force they were not prepared to fight. Verna was found hiding in a hole in the wall hideout and dragged him out screaming. Pit focus events dot 43. Wow! We lose 50 manpower for 500% stability? Jesus. 500%? They might have carried the zero over two places a little bit too far. Is it supposed to be 5% stability? Because I don't remember the last time I've ever gotten 500% stability in any campaign. Maybe except for once. I think there was one campaign where I got that much uh, stability as well. But that's a lot of stability. 500%. Oh my goodness. And luckily Old World Blues moves fast, fast enough so that this 40-day 40, 40 focus is still not bad. I'm used to 35-day focuses, but 40 days, nah, that's almost the same thing. Almost. Hey, we may actually made a division. Nice. Hopefully we get some more army XP. We can train some more because... Actually, are we losing? Oh, we need more infantry equipment. Cut these down by two. I don't think I'm going to use motorized. And special forces, we might use. We'll see what happens. We're going to be working as needed, though. And grab some improvised tools for even more output. Just because I want to make your guys at least 20 combo with. Maybe get some dynamite. Maybe get a few... Uh, one things. What, what are they called? Um, Saws. Saws. I, I, I cannot remember the name of Saws. Let's see what happens with this event, though. Because extermination sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, that's not bad either. And... Trog extermination efforts. As expected, efforts to clear pockets of trogs in the city have, a heavy, have, have had a heavy cost. But this infestation must be cleared out to expand our city. Some of you will die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Let's clear out the metal yards. There are yards near our walls full of valuable scrap metal and possibly some other salvage. If we send enough new recruits to clearing it, we can gain access to new sources of scrap and maybe have some better fighters come back. Maybe. We'll see. But these guys are only... Ooh, actually, you know what? Just in case, I'm going to start going to war with these guys. I just don't know. Oh, that's, that's going to take a long time anyways. If we get free, you know, war goals on them. So, I, we might as well just try to go war them as, right now. So, do that. And at this point, what we're going to do is just go ahead and start expanding these guys. To be, at the very least, very least, 12 combat with to get up to 20. Eventually, we will get there. Uh, let's try to attack both, maybe. Maybe. Prior to living standards, that's okay. We actually, 100, I, 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 you can't beat 100% stability. And we're led by Lord Ishmael Ashur. 
And we still get more weekly, yeah, stability, so not bad. The Steel Fist stuff, oh, sure. Trogs running rapid would be nice. Restoring plant cycling sites. Cap equipment capture. Clearing the north. After this, I think we'll probably do mopping up just in case. Their sad revolt lies in ruin. Their so called army wiped out. Now we will deal with their leaders. And we we'll get more stability, but with 500% stability, I, I just don't think we need any more stability. Not gonna lie. I think. I'm thinking our stability is pretty good already. Oh, look, we raided. Or we demanded tribute, and they gave us stuff. I love demanding stuff. I'll go and do that one. You might as well. Now we're at 11 or 10. Wait, where, where do you go down? Meadow Yard's clear. Unlike some of our other ventures, we sent a couple of veterans with new meat to clear these Meadow Yards. As we predicted, they did not get entirely wiped out. So now we only have... Not only do we have a nice Meadow Yard, we have some soldiers who have some hair on their chest. Pit focus events.22.a. 100 army XP. Wow. Holy crap. That's a lot of army XP. Okay, I was hoping we'd get maybe like 5 or 10. 100? Oh, we have no manpower now, but whatever. 20 combat width is nice. Very good. Uh, we'll leave some manpower. We need to do some of this, too. Can I raid other people? Capture the Warren? Uh, it might be best if we just try to take out Buff and Court. It 45 is not much. I mean, then again, it's not much population here, either. So, yeah. We want to get rid of this, probably, because it hurts our guns. Our guns. Attack, defense. Consumer goods are nice. It hurts our organization. Gets more stability, but we already have 100% anyways, so... Yeah. Uh, that supply concept is nice, but I, it doesn't matter. We're going to have to go to Raider Warbands. we got to get up to 7%, probably. So after this one, crushing the uprising? Probably. The fighting is mostly stopped. The main leaders of this little uprising either dead or captured. Now the time to determine how we move forward. We should probably re reward the loyal. It's always good to be loyal, depending on the situation, of course. <sighs> Crush them. So this way we can get another research slot eventually. The Brotherhood Secrets. I kind of want to do what that says, but we'll see what happens. And I don't think we have any upgrades for our current soldiers. Do oh, oh, I guess technically, yeah, we do. Um, anything else here? It's just a little bit ahead of time. Grab some seed selection, I guess. And what else can we do? Mascalero Nation, Toothpick. Corruption of the Pit, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Happens every campaign. We need more manpower and stuff. Non-core manpower wouldn't really help us right now. Just going to root out that injustice. Who would we choose next? Probably, as much as I love getting more max entrenchment and division defense of territory, Raider expansion is probably the way to go for better justify war goals times. But let's reward the loyal. Not every slave was treacherous. Many refused to fight or even fought with us to return to stability. Net rewarding this behavior would lead to more of it moving forward. Crushing the uprising. The last pockets of rebel resistance are being snuffed out. Now is the time to deal with the traitors at 300. Pet focus dot events dot 11 dot 8. 15% more stability, we lose a thousand manpower, and remove Slave Revolt. Okay, that's not bad. Slave Revolt? Wait. Slave. I don't think we removed Slave Revolt. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I guess it didn't really work. Attack on core territory, more max planning. Max planning is actually not bad. That might be better than the actual attack itself. But let's just go into Raider Expansion first. Improvised tools are very nice. What about this? Let's grab some of that. We can use a lot of that army XP already. Great. Oh, we actually have some manpower too. We just need more guns. Because we're really, really out. We actually have quite a bit of support equipment, which is very bueno. Very, very bueno. How is construction coming along? Not bad, not bad. Could be better, but not bad. After rewarding the loyal, I want to probably race down here. So reorganizing the forces, more division organization, and a thousand more manpower. If there's one thing that uprising has taught us, that it is our forces need more discipline. Simple slave charges were able to easily overwhelm defensive lines due to lacking coordination. We will remedy this. So yeah, a thousand more manpower is pretty good, especially since we don't have that much, but rewarding the loyal. Those among the slaves that chose not to rise up or fought with us should be rewarded. That way, more will do it if, if they ever get silly ideas of freedom in their heads again. Through service comes freedom. Oh, political power. Look at that. Tax. Tax them. And let's grab some battle plans. Now, do they refuse tribute? Oh, well, we have to beat them up. Oh, let me beat them up. I want to beat them up. But not really. Maybe we'll kill these guys off, too. Uh, what do we want next? You know what? This good Tulchinski. Tulchinski, uh, this stuff is good for just building stuff up, so. 10% is not a big number, but it's better than 9% and 8%. Usually. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is on historical... When do the rockets go to war with the Alamo chapter? Wait, hold on. Rev what? what? I've never seen that happen before. 
God, I wish I had their own fo their old focus. I should have played as a Houston Rockets when this the Monsters of the East update came out. I really should have. Really, really should have. Broken Tribute? Oh, no, no, no. But it looks like someone else paid us, so that's good. We will raid their side. Oh, actually. How many divisions do they have? Okay, yeah. You, you dare refuse tribute? How dare you? Three. I'm just gonna do that. It doesn't even matter. 35 days. That's fine. Federation of West Virginia. Oh. So Stonewall Picket. Stonewall Picket. What? <laughs> Two to three thousand manpower. 35 divisions. That's fine. If they want to refuse us, it's fine. Whatever. We'll, we'll deal with them one way. Next up. All right. Expanding arms factories. It's become clear that relying on scavenged weaponry and scrap cobbled together can only get us so far. We must step up, up our production of weaponry, which is very true. Wait, so Rivet City is going to war with the Enclave or something? What's going on? Enclave is here, and they're fighting Rivet City. Oh, they're over there. Isaac Howard. T -t -t oh, wait, you have a unique focus tree too? It's kind of unique. It's not really. It's really unpolished. Okay, that's kind of cool. Huh. All right. A little bit ahead of time. Just grab more research speed then. Come on, let me raid their booties. And how much longer will we have to wait before we go to war with buff? Buff, 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 buff. Ah, uh, not that much longer. Less than a month, which is good. Hey, look at that manpower. We're almost done mobilizing, but that's not too bad. Up uh, next, we'll, we'll probably have to go outside of battalions anyway, so go and do that. That's fine. We're on proficient mercenaries, which is not bad either. Oh, look at that. Reorganized raider army. Good. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure, why not? Do you Starko since he's already doing Okay, you know, this ended up being way easier than I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but like a fat dude and a thin guy thin tall guy as board guards, all we had to do was wait for the fat guy to drop a sandwich. And we already were burning down farms. Booty is a good kind of booty. I thought I was gonna drop his pants, but never mind. He's gonna drop his pants. What what's wrong with me? Good job, Starko. You gotta show up, they'll drop their pants for you, and then uh, we'll have we'll be on our way. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, very good. Profits from a drug trade. If you like to read about drugs and profits, let me know. Pass me a hit. <laughs> That's a little bit ahead of time. Oh, yeah, let's get some dynamite. That'll be super, super beneficial for us. Gives us just a little bit more soft attack, which gives us that little oomph that we need to hit our enemies a little harder. After expanding these guys, though, we'll probably go ahead and do incinerators. We'll get a bonus to demo team technology. Flamers and incinerators are two of the most feared weapons of the wasteland, second only to a sharpened stick with poop on it. That weapon does not need research, but creating reliable flamers that do not explode on us does. Why, why are we talking about poop here on a stick? Alright, let's go ahead, just because it's going to take some time, so let's do that. And we might just go to war with these guys as well, and then next. 140 guys is so much better. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, we're doing pretty darn well already. 3 to 12. Uh, these guys are sucking up a little bit, but that's alright. Oh, well, we won that battle. Not bad. I want you to go here to there. There you go. 20 combo width is probably... What? How big are these? 3 to 12? I'm probably assuming they're like 10 combo width. I mean, they might not be, but we're doing well enough that it feels like they're probably only 10 combo width. Tax them. Um... Non-core manpower, more manpower. I think we're okay for now. Promise of loot is pretty good to get, too. I like a little bit more war support for now, but that's okay. Are we losing weekly stability? No, we're still getting more weekly stability, which is... Screw it. Let's lose some stability for war support. Oh, where is that one? There you go. Just takes 10 army XP. Yeah, screw it. Lose the weekly stability. Get more war support that way. Not bad. We've lost 11 versus 57. Pretty good so far. Pretty darn good. Political bribes. Briberinos. I'm really interested in seeing how fast we can core this place to get compliance raised. Hey, five more armor XP now. We're gonna need that for the stuff. Oh, oh, scorched. Where is the scorched hive? Oh, they're down here. Um, the hive. Henry Abbott, a thousand manpower, no divisions. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we'll just do that. It's gonna cost us forty, but tributize Elmira. Hello, Elmira, and weapons research. It is obvious that a bunch of slaves with power tools can pose a serious threat to us. We need better guns. Scavenger can only produce so much, however, we need to produce these better guns ourselves. Uh -huh. No, another. Oh, nice. Research slot. Don't mind us. Buff has been conquered. Love it. Brad foe. Eh, maybe you could use him as a punching bag, realistically, but now nah, we're not going to do that. So we are currently 1%. And then we're going to go to 
Okay, so we're going to go up by 0.2 a day. That is not great. That is just not tasty. And that's with this, but we didn't do this yet. Caravan guards, not worth it. There you go. Now, let's take a look. 0 0.3, 2.3 goes up to 2.6. It goes up to 2.9. Not bad, not bad. Could be better, though. Field fortifications, sure. Why not? Up next, we shall grab military high command. I don't want to lose defense. Definitely, definitely. Oh, I'm, I'm really conflicted. Max planning could be really good. And division attack on core territory, which doesn't really matter. But 5% attack will help you no matter what, even if you don't have planning. Which sounds like that should be a better thing that we should do. Slave Flogger, we'll probably do that one. Oh, good. Let's go to that two. Good, thank you. Very, very nice. And we currently get 1.62 political power every single day. Not bad. Power Broker. Oh, yeah, let's go. That's fine. There you go. There you go. There you go. And we won! We spent 40 caps to get 90 more. Toothpick. Uh, I just never know what... To, uh, actually, I do know what to choose. This one. Nice. Weapons research. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Brotherhood Secrets. Uh, continuing cure research. Why not? Now that the dust is settled, we can pr continue our research into a cure for the plague that impacts all of us. Nice. A full research slot. That'll definitely help us out here. Hmm. Crowd control. We could do that. Give me some saws. I want some saws next. Very nice. How's construction going? It's going quite well. And compliance is at 13%. That's not very fast. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, get some anti-tank, too. It doesn't even matter. We're going to need that eventually. But at least we have four research slots, and that's really nice. And how much more do we have to wait? Oh, about 40 days, which is not bad. That's really not bad at all. Wow. All right, after that one, we'll probably be finishing the cure. Almost by accident, another breakthrough has been found. In tests, it is unable to reverse the drug degeneration or other plague impacts, but it has been able to stop them in those already impacted or prevent them in newer slaves. It is time for widespread use. I love vaccines or whatever we use to, you know, cure ourselves. Inject us with that good stuff, man. Two days left. Uno days left next. And someone died. Crusher's army. Goodbye, Crusher's army. With uprising over, work for the cure to TDC can continue. No more delays. More political power. And... Wait. We lose even more research speed. What the heck? Wait, what? Um, we... Okay, we... I guess research increased. I guess that makes sense because we're de dedicating more stuff to that research, I suppose. But okay. Let's get some planes after this. Energy, medical stuff, outposts, Summers Federation's gone. Infrastructure will be important. How about this one? Raider air buff. We're not even, we don't even have any of those stuff. But let's grab the attack then. Let's get gliders next. And, just in case, the pit raiders. Give them some demo teams, even though we won't have enough yet. And that's okay. There we go. Go to war anyways. After them, Elmira. How strong are these guys? Uh, not that much manpower. Oh, they have quite a few divisions. How about Canton? Oh, they might have quite a few. Bronto? Scorched Hive. Yeah, they're next. Cool. Alright. And they're dead. Yeah. I forgot what day it was. Not bad. Not bad. Now the time go on so we get the score five. Vault 76. Man, I've played Vault, uh, Fallout 74. 74? I don't know what Vault 74 is, but it's Vault 76. Or Fallout 76. My goodness. My my words. My speech. Not very good right now. Our promises kept. Before the uprising, Ashmer Ashur made frequent promises of emancipation of the slaves once the cure was found in the pit more stable. There is talk among some that the time has come, but given the recent uprising, many among the slaver class believe freedom is undeserved. Many said it could not be done, but TDC has been cured. The people of the pit breathe a collective sigh of relief, knowing that they will not one day degenerate into a troglodyte. In an unrelated note, fears of turning into a feral ghoul are on the rise. We did it together. We get more political power and get more passive capital income. Nice. Look at that. Cured TDC, you get more... Monthly population and political power. All right. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, we could probably get output military factories. Meh. Uh, we're building up more civvies. But our promise is kept. For years, Ashur promised that once TDC was cured, the slaves of the pit would be freed. Now that TDC has been cured, many understandably expect emancipation. We no longer need slaves. We lose recruitable population, get more monthly population, and slaver enemies with slavery outlawed or not yet back to work. 
Oh, I mean, I guess we did say we would free them. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Uh, just go with, uh... Just do that one first, that's fine. Alright, well, whatever. Cool. And we shall do Brotherhood Secrets. Let's see what we can do about this. Clearing out the West. Or up beyond the western walls are droves of trogs and wild men roaming the streets, but old maps show a police station used by something called the National Guard after the bombs fell. Maybe there's something there worth finding. We won't know until we clear the way, of course. Go and keep training, guys, because after this, you're going to need some uh, saws to make yourselves really strong. And where's compliance for this group? 43%. Ugh. Only 43%. Yeah, saws are nice and all, but 43%, man, that's so little, but we'll get some gliders. That'd be nice. Do we need more infantry equipment? Yes. Oh, that's not good. We need, actually need more. That's not bueno. Cowboy country is under attack. Good for you guys. Tax them. Tributize. Tribute. Enclave has been tributized. The Amish said no. Ronto said no, but the Enclave said yes. So this is very weird. Who knew that we could just tell the Enclave to bow down to our will and they would agree? Not bad. We don't need more military factories, but we're 1515, so that's not bad. Clearing the west, and we need more resources. We get some cash of equipment. Clearing the north. What if we were to clear the rubble? Having the slaves clear rubble out of buildings and streets should open up new housing and scavenging grounds. Not a bad idea. Encryption, thank you very much. Anything else here? Not yet. That's good. Oh, we're going to need more demo teams, ain't we? Oh, boy. Eh, probably not going to use that for this campaign. Um, okay, not bad. Clearing out rubble. Oh, the pit gets two more infrastructure. That's not bad. Oh, we get one infrastructure here. This one gives us two, but okay. Clearing operations in the west side. We were able to clear out large swaths of trogs and wild men in the west without too many casualties. Just some fresh meat in the grinder. Let's hope the rumors are true. We lost some manpower and get even more political power. Wow. Eagle is next. Toothpick. Eh, that stuff doesn't really matter to me. Resource efficiency gain output. Let's grab some more output. We could actually use some more output right now. And we're on Raider Bands. Hopefully get to Scum and Villainy eventually, but we'll see what happens. Field fortifications are nice. Trooper coordinated assault. That'd be good. Good, good. So I'm not going to lie. It's a little disappointing that there's not, like, more, like, or any war goals really so far. I would really like to see some war goals for the pit. But I know that th this mod is still in development. It's just going to take time for us to get there. So compliance gain, 60%, 70%, 60 30%. I think once we take out the score shot, then I'll do new citizens care package for even less compliance. Or, no, less resistance and more compliance. Gliders are nice, 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 nice. Let's grab some more rise flight. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we got a lot to build. Wow. Taxi Enclave. All right, 29%. Let's grab some more construction speed as well. And down here, we're going to holding... I'd love to do that, please. Chem pusher, slaving dude. That's not... Ah, military factory construction speed. Meh. I would prefer more non-core manpower, honestly, but we're going to core everything anyway, so let's go with air rate buff. No. Businesses, eh? Nah. I'll get that one, because you can. Reestablish establish construction zone. Foundries would not be bad. Industry. Oh, let's get some industry. It's not enough to have steel foundries if we cannot turn the steel into the tools we need. We must also repair some of the other factories in our city, which is a good idea. And let's take a look here. So how do we do Robco Pit Deposits? Oh. Requires crushing the uprising. Um, this seems... We're not prepared. Um, maybe this is an either-or reorganizing the forces versus the Robco pit deposit, but... Is this glitch where we can't do this? Um, I might just use, like, auto-focus autocomplete maybe for this then? I'm not really sure. Um, you guys are ready to go since they don't have any divisions, which is good, but... Oh, we actually upgraded the pit. Nice. All right, boys, let's move right on in. There's little to no resistance, which is good, 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 good. Tax them. 500 some caps. Ah, oh, just do new citizens. That's good, 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 good. We want to core, 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 core as much as possible. And who's up next, actually? All right, so the, do we want to take the Amish or Elmira? They don't have that much manpower. 13 divisions. Uh, let's take out these guys first, maybe. Yeah, then we get to even more people we can take out, so... Amish, under Bishop Char. You gonna be next, son. 
Canton, huh? Nice. All right, so that's not too bad. Granta, ooh, ooh, they do have some divisions. That is a very bright blue. Oof. All right, Brotherhood Secrets might not be too bad. Improving production. Uh, auto shop plantation. Da, da, da. There's still a lot of stuff over here, but maybe we'll do a Brotherhood Secrets. Decades ago, the Brotherhood came here seeking something. While Ashur did not exactly know what it was, he knew something, or knew enough to know it was of something of great value, and the Brotherhood probably had it. But after discovering the untouched robot deposit, or depot, as well as research facilities, maybe they were too distracted by the scourge to even accomplish their mission. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, 80%. That's not too bad. That's really not too bad. Point, point 0.4, not bad. It goes up to point 0.8 to point 0.1. Okay, it's not quite point 0.4 every day, but that's all right. Keep training, guys. You're doing okay. We gotta get some saws on you. Keep doing our land doctrine as well. That'd be good. Get some planes in the air eventually. Yeah, we got some planes. We got some anti tank. We need some saws. Local workspace will be very, very, very beneficial. Grab some basic tools as well. What resources are we lacking? Water. We need to drink. Why do we need to drink? Do we really need water? Man. Oh, the search begins up. I sure was not briefed much about the Brotherhood mission in the pit. Only well, we knew that there was something of value to them somewhere in the pit and that the three sides were being investigated by the uh, <clears throat> teams. The three locations are probably the best lead to wherever Brotherhood was looking for before they turned their rifles on the populace. Our search begins. W w we lose research speed. Okay, side alpha. From the records we can recover, Site Alpha was some type of subway station before the war. As with many underground structures before the war, behind a hidden door there was a government facility. Accessing it may not be as easy as knocking asking nicely, however. Oh boy. Do we become the Brotherhood or something? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Site Bravo will be next, though. So. Site Bravo was a West Tech office in the center of the city. The exact purpose of this facility is unknown, but West Tech mostly specialized in power armor before the war. Hopefully, the automated defense measures aren't still active. And then we'll have Site Charlie with the en Enclave of Icon. Site Charlie it was the field office for Poseidon Energy located near a plant that was in construction shortly before the war. Just about everyone in the Brotherhood knew about the truth behind Poseidon Energy and what dangers may await in that office. Good. So where are we at? Oh, go ahead and court. It's only 66, not too bad. Now we don't have to waste men and guns and supplies on these guys to put the resistance down, so that's not too bad. Up next will be these guys, point four now, point six. Ooh, it's probably going up by like point two five every day or something like that, maybe. Not great, but not bad. Oh, there's only two tiles here. Oh, we might be able to come over here first and strike them out. Maybe. How much equipment do we have? Oh, we have just barely any saws. Oh, searing, searing. We're probably searching site alpha. All right. We're getting to the subway station was the easy part, but once inside, our men were met with some hordes of trogs, and many died in the fighting. After getting through the trogs, finding the hidden outposts was easy enough, and our hackers made short work of the. Or our hackers made sure our work of the electronic locks inside. We found a terminal with a string of numbers. These numbers, according to the logs, are part of a three-part code. This code should help us find a fourth site that has some item of importance. I do love a scavenging hunt. Okay, not bad. Not mobilizing anymore, but that's alright. And actually, this is 5,000, which is not too bad, so I'm, 77 is not bad. And you do get like three factories, so that's not too bad. That would, oh, public projects, might as well. Happy 22, 7 to 7, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Anything else around here? Vehicle designers? No, not really. This stuff is it's just not worth spending my PP on. Or our PP. A collective PP. One big collective PP. Eh, we're working on that. We're working on this as well. Not bad. Hmm. We already have that. We probably want to increase that a little bit more. We might have to eventually fight the Enclave, too. So we got to be ready for them. Just fight Wargo Sounds. Let's improve that with veteran training instructors. And save our PP to core this. Next. Nice. Coordinate Assault. Let's go Trooper Warfare. And I will do Sight Charlie very, very soon. And... Boom. Much to, much to the dismay of a man sent to Site Bravo, the West Tech office did not have suits of power armor just lying around. What it did have was tons of automated turrets and robotic security. We took heavy loss before disabling the security and delving deeper into the offices. Inside, we found a terminal with a string of numbers. These numbers, according to the logs, are part of a three-part code. This code should help us find a fourth site that has some item of importance. Just three codes and get some treasure? Hope this is not going to buy us in the butt, but Site Delta. We have the coordinates and the codes. It's time to rally our men and face whatever awaits us at this mysterious site, Delta, in which we get searching Site Delta. Uh, Bravo, which hopefully won't go badly for us. Let's hope it doesn't go badly. Not much manpower. They do have up to 13 divisions. They have some behemoths. They have no anti-tank. And they're almost out of guns like us, but not really, no. Hmm. Odd. Hopefully we do okay against these guys. Do we have any air bases? We should. Ah, oh, there it is. 
on Lake Erie, right? That's where Lake Erie is. Yeah, but that's pretty darn far away. Holy crap. All right, so we should do okay against these guys. Let's see what happens. Um, hmm. All right, let's see what happens with this. Can you guys win down? Okay, then. If you guys could just cut them off like that, be great. Natural disasters. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. We'll just lose the caps. That's fine for me. That's fine with me right now. Behemoths are not super easy to take out, so hold for now. And... Uh, we could do that. I, I do want to save the PP for this, though. Save it for now. Help them out. Good, and we are getting attacked here as well, which is not ideal. So actually, I'm going to keep you three right here as well. Canton is probably going to be... Oh, we lost more manpower than we actually... Huh. Okay. So the goal is to attack here probably next. Supplies are just so bad. Organization is so bad. So we'll see. They got some attrition, which is good to see. Wow. Three divisions versus R3 in defense. Oof. Five plane fighters are nice. Uh, just go for the next level. We're not going to focus on cast just yet because we don't have enough planes, period, anyway, so... Ooh, we're actually taking attrition, which is not good. Standardized tools. Searching site Charlie. As we expect, the Poseidon Energy Facility is more than a mundane office. The terminals we could get into detail some awful things, even to the most seasoned raiders. In one of the larger offices, we found an entry containing a string of numbers part of a three-part code. And of course, that'll help us find the fourth part. Are we the baddies? Nah. Site Delta. Up next, anything here? Air Force. Toothpick. Oh, we just core this. There we go. That's nice. Slightly more manpower. Thank you very much. We might need to get some... Um, <clears throat> well, it's only level 1. No wonder it's so bad down here. Uh, we're gonna need... Some... Logistic companies, probably. Actually, for this one, go ahead and just build an airbase here. Don't worry about this other stuff down here first. Can't quite win down here, huh? Pretty bad, huh? Maybe, how about once that division breaks? Nah, that's pretty bad down here. Pretty god-awful. Bad supply. Trog's running rampant. Wait, how do we get rid of them, then? Wait, Trog's running rampant. Do we still have that? Um... I thought we already got rid of that. I guess Ashura Knights? Clad and Pit forged power armor. Ashura Knights are a fightful, frightful force on the battlefield. Combining Brotherhood training and Raider tenacity, these forces terrorize their foes. Alright, we're going to need some logistic companies for this group. Oh my goodness. Not very good. Canton is going to be very difficult to take out then. Canton? Canton? Nice, there you go. Wait, where are my planes go? Wait, what? Hold on. Why are you done? The heck? Searching said, Bra bravo. Okay, so much to the dismay. The West Tech office did not have much suits of power armor just lying around. What it did have was tons of automated turrets and robotic security. We took heavy losses before disabling the security and delving deeper into the offices. Inside, we found a terminal with a string of numbers. Of course, that's like normal, like we read before. It's part of a three-part code. Just three codes and we get some treasure. Do we read we that one? What the heck? I think the events aren't lining up correctly, so... Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is not very good for us, then. Oh, behemoths. One banner, huh? Come on, guys. You gotta keep holding on. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a little bit of a glitch in the game. I don't think we're supposed to be continuing to get troglodyte things. Secret meatloaf? Okay. Logistic companies, I guess, next. We can't even win here. Holy crap. No, you're gonna force the attack. You're gonna win here no matter what. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, nice. I'm trying to push it here is going to be a big old pain in the butt. Alright, so we cord this piece of territory. And up this one next. It's almost done too. It's not too bad. Yeah, we definitely could use the removal of this. So, I'm not sure what we can do about that yet. So, that really sucks. 
Mm. Lightweight metals are nice, though. Can we do anything for land auction? Can we do anything for support companies, maybe? Not too much. Maybe get some more defense. How about that? Ashur uh, Knights, you can pull any old raider into power armor and he'll still be dangerous. But a train raider, one with steel resolve and cunning, he'll be a threat to even a brotherhood knight. They will lead the charge. We create pit and units. We get the national spirit, Ashur Knights. More daily political power and special forces capacity multiplier. Uh, hey, we got a block. Look at that. Ashur Knights. Now this is epic. Now these are a really nice division. And we can't disable it. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to start improving our situation around here. I love how it has zero, 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 but when you make infrastructure, it gives you plus one to two of them. Great. Great. Uh, yeah, okay. Establishing construction zone. I guess because of boundaries. Before the war, the pit was full of steel foundries that supplied America from coast to coast. Some of these are in condition that we can easily repair them ourselves. Okay. And we're making some more, uh, Factories, which is nice, 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 nice. Attacking here will probably be pretty, actually, really god awful. Um, hmm. What happens if we take like three divisions out? Will they attack us, maybe? Siege of Hidden Valley? Okay, not bad. So we'll see how far we can get with this. I mean, there's no guarantee that we'll go too far in this campaign, but, eh, just to see what happens. Are we still getting weekly war support or stability? Hopefully, we're actually getting it. Hopefully. We could begin a scavenging program, too. Oh, they're actually taking us up there. Okay. A little different, but I like it. Uh, do we do we have enough saws? We have 200 some. We might have enough. I kind of doubt it, but we'll do it anyways. Oh, we do have enough. Oh, that's actually kind of good. Good. Get more defense. Canton is actually quite difficult to take out. Oh, my goodness. Please keep attacking, though. Please, 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 please. Supply's pretty bad. Go ahead and come over here. Broken tribute. Whatever. Help with supply, please. And can we record this yet? No, but we're getting very, very close. Oh, wow. Legion. That's really early. Oh, this is on historical, isn't it? Wow, that is extraordinarily early. But let's grab some anti war, anti armor tactics. Restoring foundries. How about we do some refined smelting? Let's do establish construction, reconstruction zones. While well, scavenging for parts to fix up foundries, our scouts found a city block relatively untouched by the circles of the past 200 years that can be reached by tunnel, subway tunnels we cleared. We can fortify this block and turn it into a new district. Not a bad idea. Standardized tools. Very nice. Let's grab some plant cultivation, shall we? Yes, we shall. Logistic companies will be very beneficial as well. As we shall watch, uh, the battle kind of rage on between James Jones and our own Starko. Huh. Gear as conviction, and we're about to have some logistic companies. Thank goodness. All right, can we grab some of that? Not yet. Research speed, thank you. Vacuum tubes. And how much support equipment do we have? 700 some, that's not bad. Pit Raiders because of that. Oh, we need some more of that. Oh, no, 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 no. Vault City, all right. Hopefully they keep attacking us a little bit more. And hopefully, we got rats, no. We get some more army XP. That'll be extremely important. Hey, at least we don't have any more attrition. Now, they're taking some attrition some more as well, which is eh, good, but still. But still. Uh, they have a little bit less manpower, maybe. They still have plenty of behemoths and infantry equipment. Everything else, not too much. Hopefully, we can do well when we attack. Maybe. Oh, it's not looking good. Not looking good. No, sir. No, sir. All right. If that's the case, you guys... Retreat a little bit more, and see if we can bait them into attacking us. That's going to be the main thing we're going to try. Oh, they're still attacking us up there. Hopefully we can do well. I think we will. Alright, so we record that, which is not too bad either. Not, oh, they're actually still killing each other. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, actually, is this a good time to attack? Yes, it is. Force it. Nice. And restore water. Yeah, we can do some water. With massive infrastructure damage, ravages of time, the sewers being full of trogs, a prospect of restoring plumbing to its pre-war glory is a little pipe dream. So, we can make uh, workable alternatives using rain collection and purification in upper levels of buildings. Not a bad idea. And we can do that too. Not bad. If we can move over there quickly enough. Come on, come on. Ah, yeah. Very cool. Heck, you could probably start attacking 
Go, 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 go. Actually, you might just be able to get break to Canton if we can do this correctly. Uh, we still want to go to war with Elmira, even though that would spread our divisions quite a bit. Uh, they probably have more time to actually... But they will be, hopefully, raiders. They're just infantry, which is okay. George Wallace? Is it the, the George Wallace? The Southerner? The Governor? They have George Wallace and Elmira? Oh, sign me up! Oh, if we can get George Wallace here, that'd be so cool. Alright, maybe we won't stop attacking nearly as much. I would have liked to encircle these guys, but that really sucks. Come on, guys. Please stop attacking like that. Please. Good, good, good. Alright, corruption in the pit. That's not good. But these guys are completely cut off, so that's actually really good for us then. Just kill them off if you can. End their uh, miserable existence. Restoring water, restoring power. A few of the buildings have mostly functioning generators. With some work, we can get these in working order and provide more power to the area. Not a bad idea. Increase the pit levels. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very good. Militia training. Let's grab some guerrilla tactics. Not yet. Flexible designs. N nuclear cast. Oh, boy. Alright, so at this point, we could probably just go ahead and do this, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. These guys, obviously not, but that's okay. Huh, they're all the way over there in Canton, but it doesn't look like they really should be over there, huh? Alright, Pit Raiders, thank you, thank you very much. What the heck? What are you guys doing? Okay, they died. At least I hope they died. I'm not sure where they went if they didn't die there. Head on up north, they're gonna need you up north. Plant cultivation's nice. And construction speed. Thank you very much. We've lost 500. We've killed off 2,000. Not bad. Operators are trying to kill a lot of people off, but that's probably not going to go very well for them. Still have some manpower left. Four divisions max. Not bad. Help them out. Help them out. Come on. We've almost got them. We've almost got them. I don't want to do forced attack. I will if I have to, though. What's the compliance like? Oh, we don't... It's, this is just one massive tower. We have no compliance yet. Holy crud. Well, but at least we got the Amish. That's nice. Alright. So, oh! A crown jewel? Nice. Uh, you guys come up here, but we're going to have to take some stuff off of there. So. At this point, probably going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Because we're going to need a few more units around here. Um, yeah, we're going to need new Commander Francis Armstrong. Uh, let's see, we need... Oh, that's really just one tile. Uh, yeah, we're going to need these three for that. Yeah. And another couple more units to help cover everything else. But a city... Or a born city block. It was considered overly ambitious by men, restoring a pre-war skyscraper to an actual semblance of its former glory, but we accomplished just that. Sure, brown house may occur, sure the pipes leak toilet water on the 13th floor, but it is a big building without massive holes in the walls. So that's, um, so that's something, right? Pretty nice. All right, everyone, so let's go ahead and do another focus. We've got a couple more to go through, and we're going to have to use comms commands for this one, but let's do improving production. Creating a more efficient production techniques can enable us to better use our laborers. I love laborers. Uh, oh, and we can use this already to increase the uh, trade note here. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Even though manpower is not looking good, but we did raise conscription level, so hopefully we can go up just a little bit higher. Flexible designs are not bad either. Get some crop rotation, that'd be quite bueno. And we will go to war with these guys very, very soon in Elmira. Uh, hope you guys would be done training, but perhaps not. Let's go and stop training and get ready to go to war. Because I actually auto deployed these guys a little bit sooner rather than later. And actually, how's compliance coming along? We are currently at some percentage. 17th resistance strength, almost 30% compliance, which is not great, but it'll have to do. It'll have to do for now. All right, let's go ahead and go to war, see what these guys got cooking up for us. All right, they're not attacking us. Could you guys go right into there, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so, yes. Oh, you guys can't actually do that. Okay. Um, well then. 
I guess if we encircle them, that'd be okay. Let's stop attacking because we because manpower is very limited right now. Hopefully they don't move around. Hopefully we can do pretty well wherever we are at. We could actually oh maybe something like that. And cut that one division off. That'd be pretty nice, right? And, oh, well, there's three divisions over here. Okay. Improving production. How about we do clearing eastern rubble? The rubble and debris across the rivers made for hard to traverse ground for caravans coming in as well as creating opportunities for ambushes. We should clear these areas so our shipments are not looted just outside our walls. That's probably a good idea. Go ahead and go on in, boys and girls. Oh, they're trying to come in here as well. Well, I think not. And we've cut these guys off as well. Nice. There you go. Good luck. And those guys are dead. Very good. Not too bad, not too bad. But I think this will be probably the last nation we take out on us. Nuclear World Empire declared one the Constitutional Republic of Connecticut. Alright, look at these guys. Pretty scrappy, I'd say. Unless we can kill these guys off pretty easily. Ah, oh, yeah, we might be able to do that. Sappers, why not? 75 days, that ain't too shabby, I'd say. Elmira? Well, this place is going to die too. Love it. Pro more profits from drug trading? Love it, love it, love it. Oh, you guys are done? I don't think so, son. Man, this pathfinding is very weird. Very strange. But not bad. Mm, military Academy officers, we could do that. I think we're kind of okay. Uh, like I said earlier, this stuff is okay. Uh, obviously, it's still getting worked on, this mod is, so. Uh, yeah, not really much here. Don't want to lose it. Uh, technically, if we lose stability, it won't really matter too much. Yeah, this is very awkward. But if we all attacked at the same time, would we be able to win? Probably. Oh, yeah, I'll just go in right there. There we go. Let's do this. And we'll do some extraction just in case, because we could probably could eventually run out of advanced components. Not sure if it would really help us that much, but we could try it. This is so weird. Where are the, the division's right here, which is so awkward. Alright, so you guys come down here. And then I want, like... All but one to go there, and another one go right there, so we can circle another one division right That is... What the heck? Um... Yeah, this is very... Okay. Uh, this is so weird, man. If that's the case, we only have three divisions there. I'll have you guys just, just attack. Just just go ahead. Just go, just go ahead. Hey, they're in circle. Nice. Good job, guys. A mirror. A mirror proper. Hopefully, it will be ours. And got your inclusive rubble. Auto plan expeditions. In addition to foundries, Robco facilities, and arms plants, Pittsburgh has several Corvega plants. Searching through these plants could help us to develop our own means of constructing vehicles, which is pretty good. And we beat the Almira. Good. Nice. And then we'll do the sappers and probably call it a campaign. Um, yeah, I must well do that. That's fine. Whatever. It doesn't really matter where they're at. I don't think they're too difficult. I could be very, very, very wrong about that. Let's get at least some planes here, too. That'd be nice. Uh, robots, that's fine. Or, robots. Arms workshops. Now, get some more infrastructure. I do want some more infrastructure, so that'd be good. Manpower's not too bad. And how's compliance up here? 54%, not bad. 4%, 15%. It'll come with time. How's the Nuclear World Empire doing, actually? Ma Mag's black, not bad. Alright, primitive radio's pretty good. More research speed is always quite bueno. Thank you. Level 7, not bad. Let's do the next one, too. Restore rail yards? With a little more effort, we can restore some of the rail systems in the east. They'll be more. They'll be useful for trade or staging raids. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Archers, knights. I'm, I know I'm probably seeing that one. Archers, knights? Yeah. Not bad. We can only get almost two a day. My goodness. I'm not even sure what we can do with all this stuff. Uh, at this point, time doesn't really matter too much, so just go and choose something else there. And we're going to need some radios very soon, so... More infrastructure in Eastern Pit, why not? And boom. Very nice. Oh, we go for Alba, huh? Cool. How is this looking? Philly Raiders? Yeah, Philly Raiders. 1,000 manpower, up to 8 to 12 divisions, not bad. Yeah, you guys should be able to take these guys out pretty darn easily. Portable radios, nice. And. That one's pretty good. We're going to get a lot of this. Oversight's always good to have. Not bad, not bad. Go where you need to think you need to go. And the sappers are gone. Cool. Uh, how about... 
Tom Serif, demand tribute? No, 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 you got you crazy. You think we won't give you tribute? We could probably go to war with these guys too and do okay. That's but what I'm going to do is do this. I want a total of nine divisions here. Maybe we can bait them into attacking us, perhaps. We're kind of nice. Have you five come over there? Have you four come over down to there as well? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Next focus we'll do is probably restore our Corvega plant. While well, scouting for schematics and manufacturing databases, our scouts found a plant in suitable shape for restoration. With these parts from surrounding plants, we can restore to proper work and order. Not bad. Obviously, my plan is never to just core every single thing here or take out everybody, um, but it's all right. And the Enclave is doing okay. Yeah, they look like they're doing okay. Yep, that is very awkward. The line. Then again, I don't know my West uh, Virginia geography. That actually might be really realistic, but it is what it is. There goes Republic of Connecticut. Goodbye. Uh, actually, you guys. I'll also take a Petro Chico. Let's go put you guys on the line here just in case. I don't trust these guys very much. So, yeah. I don't think we have enough infantry equipment either, so we gotta fix that too. Just a little bit, but uh, we don't need to read the next thing yet. What are, what are we missing? Just is it just infantry? Oh, radios. That's what we're missing. That's the biggest thing. Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. Uh, do that one so we can get some more, that done more quickly. Uh, tax, tax, tax. Tributize, tributize. People reject us. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Cool. How much money do we have? We have two hundred forty-one. Not bad. Not bad. But the next one we shall read, Vehicle Restoration. A warehouse of mostly complete vehicles were discovered while searching warehouses <coughs> for parts for the Corvega plant, plant restoration. While rusted and missing parts due to centuries of partial exposure to the elements, our plant workers estimate they can cobble together 100 functioning vehicles with a warehouse of stock, in, or warehouse of stock with some ease. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we're almost done with throwing a Corvega plant in about two days. And you get two more arms workshops. Nice. Broke through the tribute, huh? What a shame. Oh, we can't do that one yet. Oh, uh, this is that's glitch then. Clearing the north. Just to the north of our walls, there's a particularly large group of wild men camped in old arms factories. If we clear them out, we can repurpose those factories. Not bad. And the pit again. Level eight now? Now it's level eight. Very good. Oh wait, can we do level nine? Ragstack candle shop. Very nice. Pot standardization. Recycling, not bad. Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely need a lot more radios, though. Holy cow. Well, this might be a really bad idea. We can try it, though. Ooh, 31. You gotta hold. You gotta hold your butts. Come on. Come on. You gotta hold. Oh, we can core Canton now. Oh, that's actually really good, then. Nice. More factorinos. Pretty good. Now we have no radios and it looks really bad for us, but that's okay. Oh, we're, we are way... Uh, our general's more strength than these guys, which is pretty good. Anything else? We do have some planes over there. Not bad. Get some radio as well. Slowly winning. Slowly, 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 slowly winning, hopefully. Losses, 36 versus 500. Wow. And then looting the station. Oh, we'll, do, we'll read that one once we're doing this. Northern factory clear. We lost quite a few new recruits to clearing the wild men from the factory to the north. In the process, we were able to collect a wide array of weapons stashed by the wild men. Cool. We lose some manpower, but hey, whatever. Looting the station. Our teams found the station we had heard reports about. Judging by our skeletons around it, it was the... I, my apologies. My apologies. It was the site of some large conflict some time after the war. The building has been heavily damaged over the years, but there are still some locked doors. These doors may contain secrets, and more importantly, of course, weapons. My apologies. I am just cooking too much at one time. Completely my fault. Oh, my goodness. Actually, how much more manpower do they have? The Migration of Tribes, up to 14 divisions. That's still about 700 manpower or so. Not bad, not bad. We're slowly winning, though. He's becoming a ranger. That's very nice. 46. We need way more of that, though. Let's see. Can we spare any more? We might be able to spare a few more things here. Nice. 47. Good. Keep getting more, 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 more radios. 
and we'll do restore on the recycling plants. In the meadow yards, there's a small recycling plant that's been left to the ravages of time. With some work, we can restore it and yield even more metal from the yards, which is really good, but even though we don't really need more metal right now, but we could eventually, in time, need it. Armstrong, uh, good enough. And like, go life givers, we lose less guys. 44, 45, we've lost 80 versus 1,000. Pretty good, pretty good. I've never been to this part of the Northeast. I've been over to Boston once. That's really cool, but still. Circle Junction, twice in two lifetimes. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Cache of weapons found. While scavenging the newly cleared station, we came across a locked room full of uh, policing equipment. Uh, we already read this one, so. While they were not used, we do not know, but the past gain, past loss is our gain. We'll make good use of this. Do we get anything? Maybe not. Hmm. Threat to all peoples? Even more supply consumption? I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Alright, so we won the battle. Nice. They've only lost 1,800 versus 104, but hey, it is what it is. Can we actually win here? I'm not sure we're actually going to be able to win. I mean, our guys are looking pretty weak as it is. So suppressive firepower is pretty darn nice. Come on. Come on down. And forward fire bases. Mobile fortifications would be very bueno as well. And followed up with restoring factories. There are some factories in the north that will not require too much efforts to restore. It is weird, but it seems like the uh, the rape gangs and petty bandits that occupied the pit before Ashur's reign was not concerned with factories beyond using them as housing. Wow. Well, this is very honest. Wow. I doubt you guys could actually attack and win here, could you? Mm, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they could actually win. They might just be able to. Not bad. Let's get these a few more military factories once we're done building all this stuff up too, anyways, so. Might as well. 44 is not bad. They should be out of manpower, so any damage we do, they cannot really. Yep, they're out of manpower. They cannot replace that. So that's good. Our storing factories. And then re refine smelting. With more pre war foundries restored, we'll be able to better refine our smelting techniques. Not bad. A bonus for building technology. Even though we could use more manpower. I could get down to one more. Ashura's Knight. Yeah, that's. This is a very unique division I've never had before, just because, like, look at that. There's nothing there. That's that's extremely unique, I'll say. Extremely unique. Actually, you guys hold. I want you to just help support the attack. Because once we get Tomsriv, which... I know this is New Jersey and all, but what's Tomsriv? Is that is that really New Jersey-like? Hmm. New Jersey? That's, been, that's nice. Can't co quite core that one yet, but that helps with slightly more manpower. Yeah, I don't know. The population here... I, I know this place was completely nuked and all, but it seems like it might need a little update in terms of population, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. It feels like we're lacking in so much manpower. I mean, I know we're only on Scum and Villainy, but still. Oh. Oh, good job, guys. And let's go five more. That's fine for now. We need more circuitry, too. Uh, if you guys would like to, come on down here. Circle destroyed. There's only 12 divisions down here. We've only caught 2,000 so far. But the number is going to drastically increase very, very soon. Refined smelting. NCR joined the NCR. Did you know that? The NCR likes joining itself. I probably would too. Alright, so we'll finish this focus up. And then we'll have to use const commands because, as you can see, even though we got the focus done, we can't do it. So if you'd like to read about this again, please go right ahead. And then we'll talk about the Robco Pit Depot. Many foundries were in the process of replacing the workers with robots they did not have to pay. Since we do not have to pay our workers, we can repurpose these machines to fight for us. <clears throat> Which we'll talk about that and use the cons commands once we, once we finish this war, our last focus, really. Oh, nice, look at that. The pit? Um, we're developing the pit very nicely. It's maxed out, level 10. The pit is good. Emerald of the West. Alright, you guys can stop training, man. Ah, we cut off eight divisions so far. They're completely encircled. We've only cut off 3,000. The Legion. Did you know the Legion joins the Legion? I know, radical. Thank you very much. Is it time to core? Yes, it is. Hail Mira, thank you. And I got 21 days left, but that's pretty much going to be the campaign. But let's get through these last few focuses first. Oh, they're suff suffering in New York, huh? That sounds like a movie title. Let me read the title of a song Suffering in New York. Alright, and what is that? The 
Finest news fit to print. Oh, okay, that's not bad. More reconnaissance? Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. We have so much PP, so I'm just gonna do that one. That's fine. So, what do we have? Lots of core? I guess that's technically 98%. Oh, up here's almost done, too. Look at that. Alba? Not bad. That's New York, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Interesting, interesting. It's 0.4, jumped to a 0.6, but... Alright, so we have these cons commands, as you can see up top already. I've already tried focus note checks, and I've already tried to, like, just leave that... Well, I should say, I've tried to click on this when I focus note checks, but it wouldn't go anyways. So what we're going to have to do is also do focus.autocomplete. So we've already read that, so let's just get it done. I've already read this. If you want to read that again, please go right ahead. In which Robco Depot Expedition. Despite the security being 200 years old, it was still active. Many of the men sent to secure robots from the depot do not make it out alive. The survivors say there's a lot left to be retrieved. We'll be prepared next time, in which we'll do back to the depot. The Robco Depo Robotic Dep Depot contains more than just what we pulled out last time. We can send some fresh meat to in to haul some more out. The external security of our forces encountered last time was light compared to what the party encountered further in. We were not as prepared as we thought, but we still made it out with more machines than last time. All right. Deeper into the depot. The lower levels of the depot were once sealed off to us. One of the new slaves says they are good with computers and says he could get in. We once again <coughs> suffered losses, but this time acquired even more advanced robots as well. Several containers of Mr. Handy robots were found and will, will be put, it used to, put to use. As well as the depot archives. We've nearly exhausted the depot. Maybe the mainframe holds a secret to holding more and... There we go. Disable both. As we expected, the mainframe had a plethora of valuable data. Among the archives were schematics for constructing our own protection robots. Unfortunately, the hacking slave died on his way out. There will always be another one. A double bonus for robotics and technology for commercial protectrons. That's very weird, but I think that's going to be it for us here, right? Oh, oh hello. Tanks of... Um... Okay, the thunder of cannons, the rattle of machine gun fire, the roar of powerful engines, and the clanking of treads pressing forward... These are the sounds the Raider Scum will learn to fear. Which is very weird that we get this one down here, but okay. But that's going to be it for us. We could take out all of New England, but nah, I don't feel like it this time. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.